How's everybody doing? How y'all feeling? We go by the name of Planet Six, formerly known as Rock City. Yes, we used to be Rock City and then we changed our name. I'm not saying I'm the voice of the planet, B, because I had to leave the planet to go to go get these next cats, man. Surprise me. Surprise me. We got Planet Six in the building. Shut up. I'm just saying. No, we don't. I ain't gonna believe you it. Don't, the mic turns around and see. You'll see. Oh, dang. <laughs> <laughs> what up? What up, homie? Oh, What's going on, man? How y'all doing? You already know, man. We we loving life right now. We loving life too. See, I like this. I like this energy. Y'all excited to see. Of course. Yeah, you know of course. What I'm saying? Now, now, and we got we gotta get get the record straight. Formerly Rock City. Formerly Rock City. Yeah. All right. Six, formerly Rock City. Y'all yeah, not sir. the guys that beat up Rock City and then came nah. in and said, No. Okay. No. So nah. you're still the same dude, did the same yes. record. Yes. Same, same. Yes. Rihanna right. Joyce. Right, right. Oh, no. You know yep. what I'm saying? Yep. That's yep. us. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Just making sure. Just making sure. We're good, fellas. Everything is good, man. We blessed, man. We happy to be here, man. We've been having a great day in Virginia. Like, it's a lot of love for Planet 6 and VA. We've been doing that until we got here. That's what it is. What, what have y'all done in, in, in our great city? I mean, well, we was here early on the morning show. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to the morning show. And then we all so left from here. And then we uh, went to the mall. We did a meet and greet. We went to uh, ODU. Uh -huh. We performed there. Yeah, we came on that ODU. Performance. Just jumped on. Just jumped on the stage. Yeah, got the mic. Violent. Put the music on. They would, you know, they enjoyed it. You know, gave us you know what I'm saying? We was on stage doing this Dougie. She ain't even see when I put her leg back. <laughs> 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 That's what it is. That's what it is. Now let me man. ask you a question. When y'all go to different cities, man, what's is, is it a different type of love depending on what city it is? Or is it, 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 it all depends because like I said, we just put out the new album, which is called The American Dream. It's okay. available on live mixtape. You can get it. It's a free album. It's a free album that we just put out, all original music, you know. Right. And um so to be honest, Virginia is the first state that we hit up. It was in Atlanta. We did some shows in Atlanta, response was crazy. Came to Virginia. Um now we're going up to Rhode Island. Boston, New York, and then we're gonna come back down and uh And you know you know what it is, like we'll go places and some people might know who we are, right? And some people might not. And then once we get on stage we perform and then people start getting into it and then it's like we might say who we are or right. we might not. We get off stage and it's like, yo, I remember y'all or yo, I love y'all, you new fans, old fans, and it's all love no matter where we go, man. And we've been a, we've been very, you know, appreciative and it's a, it's a blessing, man. I can dig it. Now for those old fans, uh, uh why the name change? Well, you know, like I said, man, we Everybody know we used to be signed to Kanye. Shout out to Akon. Right. Finally got our own thing, Revolution Records. We finally independent. And just you know, online when we put out most of our music as songwriters, they would leak all our music. Right. They would leak the pop songs. So there would be a female record, a male record, a pop record, an R&B record, a reggae record, a rap record. <laughs> but but our, but our version of it. Well, like, I'm a version. version. Right. Right. Us singing. And then when we go places, our fans is like perform this song, and I'm like, dog, I'm not gonna sing. Boy, you so fine and blow my mind. Like, uh, <laughs> I wrote that for Rihanna. I wrote that for right. Jennifer Hudson, yeah. and and we just felt like. To, to, to separate the two, man, we needed to do something different yeah, it's like do something new. We felt like, you know, it was confusing mm -hmm. the fans. Because some fans loved it, but right. then some fans was like, yo, that new Rock City song is whack. Like, I, Rock City been on some whack joint lately. I and it's like, yo, that's not even one of our songs, but they don't know that. Right. So we was like, you know some As well as, you know, we just wanted to detach ourselves from all the BS that was attached to our, our, to our Rock name. City name. So we just changed our name. And then, you know, we're from the Virgin Islands. And when we first came here... You know, we felt like people tr treated us like we was from a different planet. planet. Like we from a <laughs> real talk, because we from an island. So we was like, you know something? Yeah, we from an island. We from we are from a different planet. So we just embraced it. We from Planet Six. Now, yeah. what does Six stand for? Um, to be honest, man, it's Roman numerals V I. Just a clever way to say we from Planet Virgin Islands. Wow. You know what? <laughs> Six can represent anybody who's in their own world in their own place yeah. who's the underdog who doesn't fit in with the norm you know what I'm saying who you know our whole thing is all about being different standing out and being yourself like you know every morning we send out the same tweet good morning citizens we just want to let y'all know that it's cool to be it's cool to just be you be a rebel you know what I'm saying be a rebel be original like, you know, like I, miss, I miss them days when we had rebels in the music industry like DMX oh, you know what I'm saying 
go back there. Early. You know what I'm early. saying? Like, early. Gotta, these gotta be re rebel, man. Like, Original you gotta, people like Missy. Yeah, yeah man. Like, it, it's just like, and, and when people made, when people made albums like a Missy and Timbaland, like a producer went in and with an artist, they built the whole thing from scratch and they came out with a body of work. And we, you know, and guess what? I don't want to say we bringing nothing back because we looking forward to the future, right? But we just want to do something. We just want to bring an element of music that we feel is missing. Not a, not a sound or a style, but just a work ethic. I dig it. A work dig ethic. It. It's not, because I'm not saying like what people are doing ain't hot and it ain't working. We listen to all the new cats and we feel they're amazing, but we just want to bring back a work, e work ethic instead of having 36 different producers on one album and you're like, yo, <laughs> yeah. why does it sound like a pop, hip hop, R&B, reggae, <laughs> soca, international, a big album? Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Album. Why does it sound like that? We want to go back to where it's like, like, yo, Eminem and Dr. Dre did the Slim Shady LP, and you could tell that body of work was put together. Right. You know, Jay-Z, he had Kanye, and he had Just Blaze. And that was the album. And, and you know, and like I said, on, on the American Dream, I know the people will hear the consistency, because it's three producers. Okay. So yeah. before, we, before we get out of here, you know, I, I always like to do the top five with the artists. It's five questions that people might want to know, just maybe they want to know. And when we do that, we're going to go into the music, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, too. So, number one. If it wasn't Planet 6, what planet would it be? If it wasn't Planet 6, what planet would it be? Now, you got Jupiter, you got uh, Mars, Uranus, uh, well, actually, it's not a planet anymore. No, Pluto's not a planet. Whatever. You get all those planets, which planet would it be? Um, I would say, I, honestly, you know what I would say? I would, I would, me, personally, I would think more Planet Mars. Planet Mars. I, I, was, I probably have a different answer. Uh, you know, like the you know, Transformers? Like, okay. like whatever planet they was from. Side with your heart. Probably <laughs> that, that planet because we work like robots. Like we don't stop. You know what? I'm with him. <laughs> Way better than mine. So we'll be from that planet. From Side with your heart. All right, all right, cool, cool, cool. Very true. Best new artist to us right now. To you right now. Tiger. Tiger. Why? I just. I, 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 I got a different answer, but I'll let. I'll let okay. him I think my. Favorite, I think I just like Tiger because I'm just disrespectful. <laughs> For real, man, I just like anybody. Like, I really like to push freedom of speech to the limit. And he, the stuff that comes out of this dude's mouth is like, yo. <laughs> no, pause, pause. Had, a, had a big pause in the building. Yeah, yeah, I mean, big pause, pause in the building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but the things that he say is like, yo, dog, are you really? When you wrote that down, nobody in the studio said, hey, man, I don't think you should say that. <laughs> and he says it, and I and I respect it. I just like again, I, I find him as a rebel in his own right, and as he's my favorite rapper right now. I dig it. Hey, I, I got two. I got uh, Kendrick Lamar. Yes. Oh, oh, I wrote this record about yes. thirty thousand feet in the air. Still with his complimenting me about my nappy hair. If I could in front of all of these passengers, man. Yeah. I'm, yes. I'm a fan of Kendrick. Yeah. So Kendrick Lamar, like you know, and you know he's he's a rebel. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, like you know, like bring that rebel. Bring that back. We need that. You know what I'm saying? So, and you know, he, he, he talks a lot of real stuff, positive stuff, and he can really rock. Um, Chris Cab, my homie, um, okay. Jamal, our cameraman, okay. put me on to him. Chris Cab and signed on um, Pharrell. Okay. White boy. He is sick with it. And he has like a reggae feel. Live. Yeah. It's crazy though. Yeah. Cool. If y'all don't know about Chris Cab, y'all need to get up yeah, on that dude. Get up on Chris Cab. Favorite rebel in history. Favorite rebel in history. Um, for me. I say uh, I got two. Okay. I I I I'll let him go after me. My favorite two is uh, Bob Marley and Malcolm X. Wow. Okay. Real talk. Uh -huh. My dad. <laughs> Yo, I don't care what nobody say. That's the hardest black man ever. My dad was. A, I'm dead serious. My dad was. My dad was an alcoholic for five years. He uh -huh. was on crack for ten years. He went to jail for five years. Still raised me and my brother. Still pushed me and my brother to do what we're doing right now. So. All the black men who got fathers and they ain't doing the right thing, you are nothing. You are the gum underneath my shoes because you have no excuse. My dad went to jail. He was on crack. I, listen to me, man. I'm being real. I found out my dad was on crack when I was in high school. He got off of it, still was taking care of me and my brother, still going to work every day, still doing what he was supposed to do. If he ain't Superman to me, Nobody yeah, yeah, can be yeah, here. Yeah, that's I, 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 <laughs> He, he didn't take the mind like, like yeah, damn, I, I think Bob might, I might be right. I didn't, I didn't think about all of that at the moment. But. Yeah, but like I said, Bob Marley and Malcolm X, I, yeah. I respect what they did for the whole black community right. yeah. in a whole. But what my daddy did for me and him, yeah. Bob Marley and Malcolm X ain't the reason why yeah. we're here. Today. Them a praying that we lose, see how them a live despite we, we don't hear the news, yeah.
We like fuck you too, nigga. We ain't gotta pretend. Cause we don't fuck with you. Hot 91.